It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hawkshead Brewery and it's a bottle of Tonka. It's a beer that's been brewed with cacao nibs and Tonka, Tonka beans. 8.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. Very nice, very funky, very fresh looking label. I do like Imperial Porters. There's a look at the bottle cap. Should we get this beer out into a glass and see what we get? Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Wow, look at that. Look at the head developing on that beer. Fantastic head retention. You can see that it's thick, it's dense, really small bubbles on the head there. It's just going to stay. Sometimes you can get an imperial stout or an imperial port. You can actually hear it fizzing down the head and you think to yourself, ah, this beer's got no body whatsoever. And for me, what's really important with a, an imperial porter or an imperial, imperial stout is that it retains that, that dense head, that, that good dense medium mouthfeel to go with the chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours that are usually associated with this style of beer. So nice levels of carbonation. Should we get the aroma on this jet black beer? Oh, wow. Picking up cherry, a big load of cherry. Like a cherry. Got it. At Christmas time, as a youngster, I used to buy them, you used to buy them in the newsagents, believe it or not. The little alcoholic sweets, the chocolate covered like bottles you used to be able to buy. And then the guy in the news agent, we were like eight or nine years old, used to sell us these, these kind of chocolate alcoholic little bottle things that I, I've not seen them in years. Um, but I had a cherry one. It was like a cherry liqueur chocolatey sweet thing. And it, and it, and it really does smell like this. That is a really, really unusual aroma, but I really, really like it. It's very, very close to being a confectionery chocolate aroma, but it's not. It's not. It's it's that cherry. And chocolate. It smells wonderful. Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's unbelievable. Stone the Crows. That is the most unusual Imperial Port I've ever tried. It just gives off this, from start to finish, this kind of cherry-like flavour. What's important for me, as I mentioned earlier about these styles of beer, is that the mouthfeel is right. The mouthfeel on this beer is just wrapping. It just it just kind of wraps around your palate, sticks there a little bit, and then and then kind of just leaves a a stickiness. A, a, a little bit of the beer is just kind of left down into your throat here. And and of course, your taste buds go down as as far as the, the, the just before the start of the throat there so it, it really is a full flavored full enveloped full cherry vanilla chocolate it's wonderful it's really really and it's got to be let's let's have another taste let's have let's take a breath shall we It's just, 
there's a bitterness coming from the bean. I'm trying to piece this beer together. Yes, you get your obvious chocolate coffee caramel from the roasted malt in the beer. You get that. You get the vanilla, you get the cherry. But there's a, there's a bitterness that kind of builds on your palate. And it just hangs around in the back of your throat. Got it. I stand in here thinking, ah, oh, there's something I can't think what this is. It's coconut and almond. You can, if you ever tried that kind of coconut almond drink, the is it called All Pro or something? It's like a, it's like a coconut milk with 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 almond in. Um, you can you can buy it in supermarkets. It comes in like a a carton. It's that. It's that, and I was searching blindly in the in the in the dense forest, and I just couldn't find that flavour. But yeah, the back of the bottle definitely is kind of pushed me into that direction of what I'm tasting. Let me tell you what this beer says on the label. Look at that! Wonderful, great lacing. A deep, dark, unfiltered, velvety ale aged with a smuttering of tonka beans and cacao nibs. Never had tonka beans. Luscious layers of flavour, chocolate, vanilla, coconut, almond, bitter cherry, rolling into the richness of dark malts, a sumptuous beer. Tonka beans are the fruit of the South American Camaro, Camaro tree used by chefs for their complex scents and nut and fruit flavours. That is is it's quite brilliant it's quite brilliant um just to, back to back just done two beers from hawkshead brewery and they've both been out of this world why i've reviewed nearly three thousand beers and it's not very often i get surprised and i've been surprised twice tonight by one brewery hawkshead brewery in i think they're cumberland i think they're up in are they up in Cumberland? Let's have a look. Where are they from? Uh, Cumbria. Cumberland. Cumbria. Let's rate Tonka. Wonderful beer. Different. I like different. I like the nut, the vanilla. The coconut, it's just, it's just an unreal beer. It, it's a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Please comment. Please subscribe. And cheers.